What's the deal? Family, welcome back to the Real Extraction Channel on YouTube. It's your boy Sean, and we here with another banger for y'all, man. So look. We got extended extended highlights. Italy versus Australia Automation Series 2022. Okay, we're doing all these videos, man, that you guys requested in the lead up to the Six Nations, of course, man. Next up, uh, we're going to have France, South Africa. Then we got Scotland, Zealand. We got a bunch of games, man. So just be on the lookout. I'm dropping at least one game every day, maybe two games, um, until I get through these. And then we got the Six Nations coming up on Saturday. So be on the lookout for those reactions. I'm either going to upload the reactions to my Patreon over here, or I'm going to upload them to YouTube. I'm not sure. Uh, most likely, it'll probably be on here. And then I'll do like... A quick recap of all the games and all the hot like specific highlights from the games that I might throw them on YouTube I'm not really sure you're just gonna have to wait till um, The six nation starts and then you'll see whether the content is gonna be either on patreon or YouTube I just got to play it out safe. You know what I mean? So uh, Make sure to get up on the patreon man. I'm starting to do I'm gonna do my first reaction on the patreon today Um, there should be out either later today or tomorrow and then I also got the ones for warriors I gotta like put it in parts that's gonna be coming out tomorrow there's a chance it might come out today but most likely it'll be tomorrow so be on the lookout for that make sure to go subscribe to the patreon we're gonna do some crazy reactions over there man. anyways let's get into this italy versus australia autumn nations 2022 man target in terms of testing those combinations and new combinations uh i got i got uh australia 12th Hosting seventh in the world rankings and a very big 80 minutes for both sides. Damn. Missouri feasting on the early Australian mistake there to yeah, you get boof themselves the kick, into bro. enemy territory. Or boof the return. Look at the enthusiasm that those forwards are bringing. Brex has to take it at the standstill. Referee's arm giving the advantage to the home side already. Varney, last week's player of the match, gets a scrag there. Bro, if you Italy, for that earlier call. if you Italy, you better take advantage of this, bro. That's going to be the easiest try you ever going to get, bro. You literally kicked it to them in the beginning of the game and got perfect uh, uh, field position, bro. Like, you got to take advantage of that and get the try. Got to. Four from four off the tee in Padua. Already one from one off the tee mm. here in Firenze. Take the three. And he's the target. The quick roll around for Skelton Whoa. to rev the engine. They go again. McRae pulled up just short, but it's still there. Hannigan driving for the line. Who's next up? Gibbon and McRae together. A little help from his friend from Matt Gibbon. Advantage offside. They're getting aggressive in them rucks, man. Defense from the home side, so it's moved out. Ikatao can't find a way through there. The lob ball, and there was nowhere for Tom Wright to go there. And feather in the cap for the Italian D. The defense but from Italy, man. They will go back for another penalty. The, for the forwards on Italy not playing today. And unfortunately for Italy, transgressing. Uh, yeah, with all the pressure yeah, that's been yeah, applied yeah, by the Australian attack. No, Lalacio's been the... kicking well this yeah. year. 17 really? positives out of 19 shots uh, I didn't for the fly half. Yeah. Keeping that form up with his first opportunity here. Yeah. With uh, some impact. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. And in the end, the kick is forced, and this is what the likes of this man and his co Tommy Allen puts in a wonderful kick, and there is going to be the first card. Jake Gordon is the man. Good finesse. That was a good finesse. Well, Brendan Pickle isn't a man known for cards. Only four yellow cards in five years. Can you believe? Well, you're going to change that stat now. Jake Gordon is going to watch the next 10. Quarter of an hour gone on the clock. And this is what Monte Ioanni brings to the oh, side. Oh, yeah, good pass. Good kick, tweet. Good pass and kick, yeah. man. From the Rebels. 
for this Autumn Nation Series. Under pressure, under threat, down a man, of course, for Jake Golden in the sin bin. More! Oh, Kamano, the younger, sets the target. Lucchese comes round to drive, making some headway, smelling opportunity, smelling success. Skelton all over the ball, Varney feeds it out. The rainbow pass, and it's a try! Wow. Hey, bro. The big boys on Italy is playing like they contracts depend on it. They playing like they contracts depend on it, bro. The big boys on Italy playing like it's contract year, bro. You resigning or you want to go to free agency? What you want to do? You want to play ball or you want to go home? That's how the forwards on Italy is playing right now. You want to play ball or you want to go home? Firenze celebrates. As the Italians make the most of that man advantage. Yeah, he is proving to be a finisher of some quality, Pierre Bruno. That his fourth try. He's only playing in his sixth game, of course, a brace either side of half time last week in Padua. We were we were on the line. Yeah. It just came from the side and was clearly. So we we had that advantage. So it would have been a penalty. Yeah, so you had that advantage. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Nice kick. And sure nice kick. Off the tee right. Takes Italy into double figures as we come to the end of the first quarter. More spacious climbs. Turnover ball. Michele Lamano, what an inspirational choice he was as captain, of course. Somebody that Kieran Crowley knew well from Benetton. Oh, look at the ball movement. Look at the ball movement. Look at the ball movement. The dummy. From Capuzzo. Ange Capuzzo is back in Italian ranks with impact. Hey, I still got to, I mean, look, I voted for Australia. It's too late now. I'm not, I'm not going to switch. I'm not going to switch, fam. I'm not. But damn, I'm impressed. Italy, I'm impressed, bro. Not gonna lie. I thought Australia definitely was gonna win. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, sure, it might be close. Like, you guys are asking for the, you guys are asking for the game for a reason. It's got to be a good game. You know. But I still expect Australia to win. You know what I mean? But Italy doing some. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. What a score! Son. Two tries through the yellow card. And they just they, they just look like they want it more. They're playing like they want it more. They're playing with more urgency, bro. You know that's my word always, bro. Urgency is what they're playing with at a way higher level than what I see Australia doing at the moment. Australia already started off a bad note by not just catching the ball at the beginning of the game. You know what I mean? Like you already set yourself up to like make mistakes, play um uh, Play from behind, play, you know what I mean? You, you stress. It's stress play. It's stress ball. Italy's having fun out there. Australia's playing stressed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Smiling young and old. That's how I see it. Shoot, what shoot. a try. Look at shoot. that attacking shoot. setup. Skirt. Yuani coming off Skirt. his wing. Quick hands. Having fun out there. And ultimately, it's a three on one. Quick hands there by Montiuani. This is where he's so dangerous, ball in hand. That dummy was crazy. What a finish, what a try. Italy flying high. What a discovery Capozzo has been. But certainly, you can look at the confidence, you can look at the organization. And Tommy Allen, hitting it out of the corner again after a bit of a knock. Again, the counter ruck is there. Roll away. This time, Australia protect the ball. Not right, no way through. Reception committee of Lucchese and Brex. Again, the penalty though goes against the defence. 
Valencia throws it good pass, wide. Good pass, good pass, good pass. In the right Woo! place. Barely. Barely. Just waiting to see the hand go. Okay. Okay. Formation between Andrew Brace and Brendan Pickrell. So we got on field try. We just want to kick that. Okay. TMO, Marius, coming up to you. You can award the try. Can award the try. You can so award the try. You, you're looking for touch. Yeah. Award the try. Perfect. Thank you. So he's cleared the touch line, so we can award the try. Uh, award the try. Yeah, he said, bro, you're doing too Marius much. We'll give him a try. Let's keep playing ball. You're doing too given. much. Come on. Tom Wright gets his fourth in international colours. He clearly didn't go out of bounds. Give him the try. It's all good. Set it up. And that is just what Australia needed right now, as we head into the last 10 minutes of this first half. Flag, of course, doesn't count for anything. Good work, nice. Good work, A flying Tom Wright. Uh. Two-year-old can't bring it round at the second attempt. Difficult to miss. And just flopping onto the... onto the rack. So that's it, a first 40 that Italy Ran in two excellent tries to give them a 17-3 lead. Half-time here in Firenze. It's Italy leading 17 points to eight. Jack Gordon, Tower's captain. Goes left, Tassami. Runs into a, a blue ambush, but they keep the ball going. Yeah, come on, get up in there. Get up in there. Give in. Quick presentation from the Wallabies. Not allowing the Italian defence to reline. Sense of urgency for those in green and gold. Sense of urgency. This is what I'm saying. That's what they need. They want to get some points on the board and shut down Italy. That's what we need more urgency out of there, bro. Because Italy, you can tell their urgency is starting to fall off just a little bit. They up. They up 17 to 8. Their urgency is falling off a little bit. This is when Australia, you need to come in and double up your urgency, bro. So you can make what you need to make happen while they're while they're getting a little bit comfortable. You come back, boom, it's a game again. Boom. Now they now whoever's gonna dog it out more is gonna dog it out more and win. But you gotta you gotta take advantage of the fact that they're gonna lapse a little bit. Like you see their forwards on defense, they're not as they're not as on it as much. This is when you gotta take advantage. Out one. They still there though, but Fischetti has been pinged. So free play for the visitors. Ooh, Swain. Get up in there! Quiet, Get up in there! Fraser McRae gets his fourth try for Australia. The first try in this second half, and that is a key score psychologically for the visitors. Yep, exactly, exactly. Key score psychologically, as you said, Simon. They've been under pressure in the first half. They start the second half very confidently. Pretty much retained the first three minutes of possession. Alala Toa there with a nice tip on. And it's the speed of the recycle, the flow of the Australian attack beating the Italian defenders, not allowing them to get in strong defensive positions. And I'm not secure off the tee. Three out of five now in this game so far. Is he going to get another opportunity here? No doubt this time. Yep. The crowd now is that urging there. Compatriots to press a little further. Lock it in, lock it in. Stop it! Oh. 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 Once oh, again, nice. the Azuri bank three strikes. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Superb. I didn't want that to happen, but that was nice, bro. I can't be. I got it. I, I respect it. I respect it. Ends up running. Damn. And the players deliver. Lovely ball behind against to Tomaso <laughs> Allen. Quick hands by Yuani. And with a little bit of space, look at him slice through the defense. No okay, do nothing with that. Oh, that's a good tackle. Oh, big boy! 
Big boy. Just giving oh. Australia a chance, Hannigan. To the house. It's Robertson. Well, right back in it. Villain to hero in the space of 60 odd seconds. Darcy Swain there. coming through there. Can On they the stop arm, Italy? Goes loose. That's the question. Eduardo Padovani would be the like for like replacement as Alessio sends it on its way. Great kick from Nolan Alessio. Nicotero finds Nicolo Canone. Two second rows have had excellent games for the Azuri this afternoon. Enrico Ruzzo once again. His there you go, there you go, rip that ball out. Game in Italian colours. Again, the penalty goes against the visitors. Is Talavani going to brave things? Concentration. He's done it. He bisects the kick. posts and good gets kick. a vital three points for the home side. Now there's a six point differential. Five minutes. They got five minutes to do it. Will they do it? I don't know. I think they can, though. You know, I think they can. That crowd will be deflated <laughs> if they do. They will deflate immensely if Australia can pull this one off. Five minutes left on the clock. No nine behind the ball. Nine. Hold. No, no nine. No nine. Yeah. 80 minutes. Trying to time the run. Get up in there, get up in there, get up in there, get that ball back, get up in there, get up in there. Come oh, shit. Forwards, but look at that tackle from Rutsa. Get up in there. Every hit now being cheered to the rafters by the home fans. Oh, them Italy forwards is there, bro. Here come Australia. Oh, get that money. Get it's that Neville. money. Cadrian Neville has got the score. Get that money. Well, we said so many of the Aussie games in Europe have been decided by a single point. There is now going to be a conversion opportunity for Look at that. Get that money that could decide another game in Europe. Thanks, this time, it could make them okay, victors. Um, obviously, very important. So, what a finish we have well. here on your post and communicate. Ben Donaldson is the man, a 23-year-old Waratahs playmaker, a junior Wallaby. He's not been on the park long. Have you got what it takes, young man? Don't Can don't miss. Step up for don't miss. your country in the time of need. First kick, first kick of the match. You're not going to be kicking in a vacuum, that's for sure. They put in the dub on a 65% prediction. That's tough, bro. That's tough. Ben Donaldson. Kicking for a Wallaby win. <laughs> he can't bring it in. Oh, he shot it wrong. He shot it wide. For the first time in 10 years, they've got back-to-back -back home wins. Wow. In the birthplace of Renaissance wow. in Italian art and culture, are we seeing the Renaissance of Italian rugby? Dog, I have never seen kicking be such a big deal in any tournament I've ever watched. Whether it's the rugby championship, I've done that two years. This is my second year doing the Autumn Nations. I've done two years of the Six Nations. And I've also done like some other like smaller tournaments. And I've never, I've done the uh, Rugby Pacific. All, I've done so many tournaments. Sevens, I've never seen kicking be such a big deal more than the Autumn Nations of 2022. It's like these games are coming down to, you know, Two points, three points. Who missed this kick? Who made that kick? You missed this kick in the beginning of the game. That's going to cost you the game later on when you lose by one point. Like, there's so many different kicks in that, that that's deciding or, you know, 
one kick could have changed the game or moved it. To, it's crazy, bro. The Autumn Nations, bro. 2022, man. These kicks, man. Deciding the games, man. Left and right. Anyways, bravo to, all stri to Italy. My fault. To Italy, man. Y'all played a great game. Urgency was there from the start, and that's what helped you uh, seal the win. Australia, it came down to kicking. This guy missed the last kick. The uh, uh, so 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 Falacio, whatever his name was on Australia, he missed that one kick. Before he missed the first kick and then made the second kick. You gotta make you make that first kick. It's already a dub. It's a dub. So. Damn, that's crazy, man. Shouts out to Italy for the dub, man. Anyways, uh, y'all know what to do, man. Hit that like button, subscribe, get on the Patreon, all that stuff. Let me know what's going on in the comments. Get ready for the Six Nations coming up next week. And uh, that's it. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real. Real's wearing real. Always reaches everyone. See y'all next time. Peace.